Hey guys, what's up? It's the Michael M here. Nineteen ninety seven. I took a little break during Thanksgiving. Had some turkey, that usual type of thing. Took a little break, and now I'm back. I'm sorry for actually delaying this review because I had to do a little bit more work on this review, and I was working on other games while playing uh, playing this game and reviewing this one. So it took me a while to basically get back on my feet and do this review for you guys. So here it goes. I'm reviewing the most anticipated Wii U title. The one that might sell Wii U copies, actually. No, Wii U itself. Super Smash Bros. Wii U Edition. Oh, yeah. This game came out a month ago. Um, actually, in October for the 3DS. And I got this bad boy um, one day after release because I couldn't buy it on the day, on the day it came out because I was a little short. But then I got money the next day. And I picked it up and I've been playing this game ever since my Wii U. And let me just say right now, holy crap, is this game This game is worth $60. It's worth $100, possibly. But I'm not going to go that high. I mean, games... And the price for the games are, are, are good enough, okay? So, let's just get into this game right now. Does it live to the hype? Hell yeah, it does. This game is 100% worth its price tag. It's worth even lower, it's worth a little higher, but still, the 6 dollars price tag it gives me, I bought it day one, and I loved it. So, there's no story here, there's no, like, uh, super crazy storyline here. Um, so, this game is basically all about gameplay. Gameplay, gameplay, gameplay is where this game is at. And let me just say right now, this game is just has some of the best fighting mechanics and gameplay ever. Before I really go into uh, the um, gameplay, what it's about and all that, how it works, I'm, this game's, I just want to talk about the game's history as I got this super official uh, guidebook and it basically shows me the timeline here of when, of the game's release, the timeline, when it first came out until now. Like in 1989, this series started in the 64 and it has been evolving ever since. In the 64, they had a total of 12 fighters in 9 stages. That's been the 64 time. That's 1999. Now, they they continue making these games. Like uh, 2001, they made Melee, which is considered the number one game of the series, which is my favorite. Which had 29 stages and 26 fighters. Great evolution. Then Brawl came out, which was a lot of people's favorite. Uh, a lot of people enjoyed. Two thousand eight, which was um, which had third party characters, had thirty nine fighters and forty one combat stages. And then this year they released three DS and Wii U versions of this game. And holy crap, is it amazing? The, the, and I'm gonna say right now, this is how many people are in, how many fighters in the game. There's fifty one fighters, and for the Wii U version, there's forty six stages. There's ten, there's 12 more stages in this version than there is in the 3DS version. And they're all based on unlockable content. So, let's just get into this game right now. Holy crap, it's so much stuff to talk about. So let's talk about the visual quality. It looks good in 1080p. The 60 frames per second never drops. The frame rate never drops in this game one bit. Not once did it happen to me when it's 8-player smash mode. And just, exactly, I said that. 8-player smash. Imagine that. Imagine playing with 7 other people in your house or with AI. Holy crap, this game will blow your mind how amazing this game works. Saying that though, that eight player frame rate does not drop either, and the graphics does not dilute or um, lower down. And actually, some, however, there is a limitation to eight player Smash itself though, which I'm fine with. For example, not all the maps are available for you to use. You're only allowed to use certain maps like the Big Battlefield, the Super Mario Galaxy map, and uh, future ones that you unlock like Duck Hunt, and a few others I won't spoil, but for you guys to enjoy. Um, you can use this map, actually, this mode actually online. You can only use four player smash online only. So, eight player smash is only for local people within your house area. And if you think you're stuck using this game pads and Wii Pro controllers, no, -uh. you can. There's a multiple array, array of you um, ways to play this game. You can play with the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, which is the Wii version. You can play with the 3DS by connecting it to the console, which I did, and I copied my fighters on there, which is awesome. However, you cannot customize them once you uh, port your Wii 3DS characters to the Wii, which kind of sucks. Um, then the 3DS version. And if you can find a GameCube adapter, you can play with GameCube controllers the way it was meant to be played. Which is basically 20 bucks. But however, for some reason, this boy right here can't find them. I can't find them anywhere. Go to GameStop or go to Best Buy, I can't buy them. So I couldn't buy them for this review. 
So I'm sorry for that. That's why I actually delayed the view because I really wanted to get a GameCube adapter. And I still can't find one until this day. Unbelievable. You know? So let's just get back into the gameplay and the controls. There's so many control var variation here. It's amazing. And saying that though, even if you don't have the GameCube controller add-on, it still works well playing with this bad boy. I played mostly with this thing right here because it was a great way to play with it. Yes, it may be our uh, playing a uh, great fighting game used to the game controller with a big gamepad, which I'm fine with. I love the gamepad. Um, it plays well. It, it's easy to use. Like this, this analog stick is for your like uh, um, hold down A attacks and stand ups and beat and finishers and hits, and it all works well, and the controls work out well, you can play the game on the gamepad as well, so you, you don't even have to look at the TV no more, if you're someone like me, who's almost blind, so, it works out well for me, so, I, it's fun to play with the gamepad, and not only that, they also added Amiibo support, oh yes, this one, and I also got Pikachu, yes I did, I got a Pikachu one, and these Amiibos are actually really cool support, I'm gonna do an actual review of Amiibo soon, once I get a few more of these, I actually use them for more titles, like Mario Kart 8, High Warriors, and the upcoming Captain Toad Treasure Tracker review that I'll be doing real very really soon. Not right now, maybe around Christmas time, maybe earlier before Christmas, you know? Because I have a lot of stuff to do. I'm reviewing Tales of the Borderlands, Game of Thrones, and this. And we're reviewing a movie soon. I'm not going to say what movie it is. You guys uh, ask me on Facebook, and I might answer it there. Now, back to the game is how Amiibo works is you basically uh, go into Smash mode, go pick 4 player or 8 player, you put your Amiibo on here, you put it on this small little thing right here, you place it here, but first you gotta you do a setup system which is easy to use, which you go to, um, uh, what is it, crap, game and reward, and then you go to Amiibo, and then you set your character, you set up your Amiibo, and, what, and, Amiibo, and Amiibo levels up to level 50 in the game, and that's the maximum potential, and when I said level 50, it'll be at its hardest mode, because it'll be learning on your, uh, the gameplay ability, so if you are someone who uses items and tactics of items all the time, it will use that against you, so that's kind of awesome. Amiibo, and I've been training up my Pikachu Amiibo recently because I've been leveling up Link ever since I bought him, so, which is release day. Now, let's get back to the game, basically. How does it play? It plays amazing, like I said. There's so much content in this game that I'm going to have an aspect of just by talking it all out. So, let's talk about what does the game have. Um, new characters. Um, let's see, the same characters in DS version are the same ones in here. You have Robin from Fire Emblem. You have Little Man, who's back, who's kicking butt once again. You even have um, Zelda and Sheik are their own characters now, which is a good thing. Zero Suit Samus and Samus are their own characters, which is also well. And uh, let's see, characters. Bowser Jr. shows up in the game, which is great to have. All the characters actually work well, in my personal opinion. And even though my personal favorites are Sonic, Captain Falcon, um, Star um, Fox... Link, Mario, and Yoshi. Those are my few favorites. And soon, Pikachu. Um, those are my few favorites to fight with, mostly because I can just really get combos down and kick butt with those characters, you know? It just works for me. Um, now, when it comes to map variety, holy crap, this game's maps are huge and just beautiful to look like. Some maps take from Super Mario Galaxy, some maps take from Mario Kart 8, and some maps even go to games that's not even relevant. Out yet. Upcoming releases like Yoshi's Woolly World, which is a great map to play on. And just there's so many maps in this game that each one's diversity design of how they play is just so much that it will take me forever to actually review this game. And I want to get this review real quickly, you know. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Now let's get on to what's next. Um, now what does the stage uh, have? There's some stages like on uh, the Wily Castle Mega Man stage has the Yellow Devil, which can be considered annoying for some people. I like it because it kind of brings more of an intense battle to the game. Um, and they also have um, a Meta Ridley a battle, who shows up in uh, one of the Metroid levels, Metroid of the M map. And it's a kind of a pain in the butt, but I got over it as it's kind of a cool way to basically use it against your enemies. If you beat it up enough, it'll become your partner. If you beat it up even more, it will blow up, which is kind of cool. Um, next is customization of Mii Fighters. Yes, that's right. If you have Mii Fighters installed that you created, you can use them in the game. You don't just put Mii Fighters in. You can even make characters like Abraham Lincoln Mii Fighter. You can make Elijah Wood Mii Fighter. You can make any type of Mii Fighter you want. You can have an Ice T who's a brawler. Or you can have um, Abraham Lincoln who's a gunner. You know, it's all type of cool customization. And you have unlock and all your moves for your Mii Fighters are unlocked instantly. While the other characters like Mario and Link, you have to unlock them by doing classic mode and basically doing in all types of modes with the solo mode or group mode. And now there's, now there's uh, classic mode, which is back from Melee, 
which is cool is that you can play co-op or solo, which I played co-op with my brother, and it's fun to play co-op as we race the difficulty, and we wait to see the consequences if we make it or not to the end. Just, just so much fun to do. Now, whew, I gotta calm down. Now, there's also um, training modes for you to do in case you don't know how to use a fighter. You can use them to the full potential. Uh, let's see, there's so much there's so much in this game that it's just amazing to see. Now, I want to go to the Wii U version. Ooh, 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 ooh. Never mind, I forget. Now, let's just get back into what does the game do right. There's so much the game does right. However, I do have little nitpicky issues for the, for the game. Most only with its online features. Now, online is fine, and it works well. Um, most of the time, though. Um, most of the time, it works well. Other times, it is a disastrous problem. For example, when I play local lobbies with a friend of mine, um, when we play Wii U one-on-one, -on -one, it's horrible at times. I mean, the lobbies, the local lobbies, they have to do an update on the game because the local lobbies as of right now is it is, is like a bad thing to play right now. Because when me and my friend are doing this one-on-one -on -one, we want to see who's the better one at Smash, we can't because the frame rate drops so low and the lag is so bad that I can't. it's unplayable. And if you add other AI into the match with you, it's annoying. But other than that, though, it's weird that if I can play against someone across the world and it runs smoothly like this, why is it that when I play with a buddy of mine who's probably a few blocks away from me, for all I know, runs like this? That's how slow the game is. It's like a slow motion clap. Or even slower at times. Now, there, now the multiple multiplayer I played, I played six hours of online mode. And I'd say it was a good breeze through most of the time. <laughs> had problems where once in a while with the lag like my first match I was laggy but I got over it I mean because the lag was only like once in a while but local lobbies is not really that good uh, hopefully there'll be an update or a patch to fix some multiplayer lobbies kind of like what they did with the 3ds version but it's fine here you know so hopefully that's all I gotta say is that a local lobbies is not the best type of way to play because with friends is right now not really that good However, there is also spectator mode, just for those who don't want to play. However, in spectator mode, you can also bet on who could win out of those matches based on their experience and how they did in the last match, which is kind of cool. You can bet, and if you get if you win that bet, you get um, golden coins, which is cool for you to unlock other trophies. Uh, and also to use for other modes like Trophy Rush and Classic mode to bet how high the difficulty can be. Um... Then there is either there is also a conquest mode. What this mode is is also add on an update for the 3DS mode. It's basically a mode where, um, what is it? It's basically a chart. There's a chart that happens every once in a while. Nintendo would, uh, or the developers would change up the chart. So it's like when I first played the game, when I first played online, there was a chart basically asking which game would you prefer, Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire? Which one would you buy? And if and if you want to root for Omega Ruby, you have to be um, either Charizard or Pikachu. And if you want Alpha Sapphire, you have to be Greninja and Lucario. Either one. Now I played a lot of Lucario and Greninja. And let's just say right now the let's say the uh, Alpha Sapphire lost. I voted for Alpha Sapphire. I lost by two points, which kind of sucked. And they even changed up all the time. Like for example, that's Thanksgiving. They had turkey versus ham. Which one would you prefer? And you have to pick a coloring sword over that. And there's even more uh, complicated ones over time. I just like certain characters, which is kind of cool. I like the Spectre, the Congress one, because it always makes you want to go back online to see what the next type of challenge is, or the daily um, list it, listing is. So that's kind of a cool little thing to add it for um, Conquest mode, because it always makes you want to go back online, even when the lag can really bother me at times. Um, and then there's even a Smash Tour mode, which is different from Smash one on the 3DS, which is an exclusive thing there. And here's an exclusive thing for this. Smash Tour mode is kind of like Mario Party, but without the partying. I mean, it's really slow. Um, that's one, another problem I have with it, is it's slow at times. It, it, there's no real fun with Smash Tour, 
because it's boring most of the time. You basically just, you and four other fighters, CPU, basically run around through a map, do challenges, and fight against like a Bowser boss. I mean, I already played it once or twice, I didn't want to go back to it. It's really forgettable. It's like you can play the, everything else in the game, and you can forget about the, um, what is it? Smash Bros. You can forget about it. I mean, I almost forgot it right now. It's really that forgettable. Um, like, um, now there's also other things like, um, cool little trophies you can find. You can find all the movie trailers for the games that lead up to, uh, lead up to the release. There's also, um, win uh, unlockable tr uh, movie uh, endings for your fighters when you beat the classic mode for those fighters. Um, there's, um, even pictures you can take however you need an SD card to take pictures, which kind of suck. You could, um, do, watch your view, your movie plays. All this type of content in this game, it's endless content. And there's even more maps. It's even, um, a challenge mode, which I believe is called, where you have to do certain challenges with certain fighters. And with that, you get certain rewards, like you unlock new maps, new fighters, and new content, which is also really badass. Like the pack line map, I am struggling to get that map unlocked. There's so many maps in this game, there's just so much stuff in here. There's a lot I have to get through here, and there's so much I want to say, but I don't want to get this video cut off, so it's time now to let's just go over what we did right here. The music is so much, there's so much music in this game, there's like a thousand times more than the 3DS version, that's how much music they have. Um, the gameplay is great, the visuals is amazing, the controller options is just downright great, the, um, the amount of plays that you can play on screen with is amazing. Oh my god. Alright, that's how I'm just like out of breath right now. <sighs> now, let's just get down to um, its flaws. There's a little bit of the multiplayer lag is bothering me a little bit. And the Smash Tour mode, I'll, without Smash Tour mode, I would be happy without that mode. And the game would be just perfect. So, now it's time now for the final verdict of Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U mode, right? So, it's overall a final verdict of not a perfect 10. I want to give it a perfect 10 real badly. But I really believe that Bayonetta 2 is just a little bit better than this game. Oh no, Super Smash Brother Heat I might get if anyone ever watches this video, you know. So it's so it's a final verdict of a 9.7 out of 10. A 9.7 out of... What the hell? What is this? Has this been here the entire time? Unbelievable. Here's some close up. Leave. I don't care. You gotta ruin that nice picture, you know? It's a 9.7 out of 10. It's really close to perfection, but this is one of the best polished games of the series. To top it off, if I was to rank the Smash Bros. series, um, this would be just on par with Melee. At times, Melee still beats it for some reason. I don't know why. But this one definitely beats it for its online features, even though it's problematic at times and local lobbies are horrible. It's still fine a game to play, and it's definitely worth buying the Wii U for it. If you don't have a Wii U and you're skeptical saying, I don't want a Wii U, there's no games for it. Stop complaining. This fall has been the best fall for Nintendo. For its Wii U exclusives and its content that it gave you, Super Smash Brothers, Bayonetta 2, Hyrule Warriors, they've been giving you all this stuff and you still don't buy it? What the hell's wrong with you? Fix yourself. Get some, get your brain work. Um, if there's a bundle for this game alone with a Geeky controller and a Wii U gamepad and a Pro controller, Buy it! It's worth buying a bundle for it. It's worth buying at Christmas, it's worth buying now, it's worth buying at any minute of the day, any time possible. If someone tells you, buy this game, what are you going to do? You're going to buy this game. I would buy it over and over again just to get off to people because I care. You know? That's just how much I love this game. Switch Smash Brothers is a recommendation, it's a badass seal of approval like any, tons of other games I have. It's worth its price tag. Okay? Now please like this video, comment below, subscribe. Also follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. Name on Facebook is Michael Martinez. Name on Twitter is the Michael M977. And also like this video, comment below, subscribe, and also share it with your friends. I want people to actually watch this video because I put effort into these videos, playing these games for you. I'm really getting sick of me getting no views and all this hard effort goes to go down the toilet drain, you know? Like this is what I feel like the show is going down. So guys, I'll see you guys in my other videos and when they make another Smash Brothers game, I'm not saying ask right now, because I'm still playing this one to death. I'm still going to be looking forward to it. I will be uh, reviewing these Amiibos soon. These, and maybe others I'll be getting soon, you know, because my birthday's coming up. Who knows, right? Me. So, I'll see you guys on our next V Michael in the Kingdom 7. Bye-bye. Woo!